Hi guys, Aiden from Dorothy Play. Today, we got to explore one, 900 times, well, 900x, 28 piece microscope set, ages eight years and up. And look, when you have the screw, like a little screw here, in this part, so you gotta get that out, and open it. The microscope is right here. Let me grab my little microscope. Real laboratory microscope, yeah. You, it comes with this, so you don't want anyone having a little eye, so you gotta take that out. And the light, it's kinda, you know, that turns on like that. Can't, yeah, I, I'll try and let you see it, but if you, it might, you can't, you might not see that, but I think you can, so yeah. So yeah, you can look inside here, you can, all you can see is light. So you get, so my grand question we have to do is, so you always start with the smallest, lens which is like that it's 20 then you can put it on to 50 i think that's 160 i don't know then you can go on the largest but what you gotta do when you go on the largest then you gotta like focus that up there so you won't hit your slides and what am i talking about slides for here let me put on the lower setting so i'll show you what slides are when you get this toy, these are your stuff you're gonna look at. So, you might wanna get a pen tip to open this, cause it's really hard, you can't just clip it open it, so. But what you gotta do, here's my swag, you, you, you cut that little corner, the pen inside, actually you gotta get the ink pen, and then, boom. Your pen, close it up and open that up. So what you got is you got five pieces of plants, if you even get pollen. Five pieces that are prepared and seven that are not prepared. So you can put whatever you want in there. So let's start. With. I'll lay them down. We have hydrilla leaf. I'll show you them in just a minute. Pollen, onion bulb. Wow. So these actually are pretty hard to get out. So be careful because these are your only pieces that you're gonna be able to look at. I'm lining them up here, right here, so you can see that. And then we got broad bean leaf, and that's all you get. Five. And then you got the rest that you can use later. So I'm not gonna close it. So yeah, but I'll show you. The bigger, the better. That's that leaf. I will play really, so when you get this toy, Toys R Us, you should try the apple in that leaf I just showed you in the beginning. Because the apple is pretty cool. And then pollen, it is so tiny. If you can see that yellow, tiny, tiny dot, you can see that. See that? That's cool. And I'll show you this right here. That's the onion. So, yeah, it's all plant parts. And then you get the broad bean leaf. And on the box, it shows bacteria, but I guess you can do that. So you pick your, I'm gonna do the hydrilla, and there's these little holders right here. So you gotta be careful. So you just gotta put this under. And when you get some of this little clear dye, which I'll take it out, that little clear circle, I I think you can't see it, but a little clear circle, but under here you can change the color. Let's see, you can you just carefully rotate this. You can get green, blue, yellow, red, and that's it. So yeah, so there's different colors. When you have like something that's clear, you it'll work on blue. So like I said, carefully put it on. Yeah. And then you rotate the light to get the brightest setting. So up and down, left and right, until you get the brightest setting. That is bright enough. When it gets the green leaf on the blue, it's bright. So I'll look inside. That's something cool. I'll show you that. So what I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing tiny, tiny veins of that leaf, which is really, really cool. So there's a lot of things you can do with this kit. Let me just, you know, I'm not gonna put my slides in now, but. You could hatch your own shrimp. It's if you can feed it the fish, if you have some fish. 
and it's blind shrimp bait. They eat yeast, so you need yeast. If you had some, you that gives them the oxygen and the food. Okay, and then we got red. Oh, we got blue dye, and you come with red dye in the same container. Which I have the link instruction, which is behind me. Which what that dye is for. But yeah, that's the instructions. And you get so when you hatch your shrimp, it comes out a hatchery. I'll show you a little bit. You put your shrimp in this tiny hole. You twist this around, and it cuts your shrimp in half. That's sad. So yeah. So remember, kids, do not play with knives or scissors unless you have an adult vision. That's good. And it fits in your kit, but it's kind of hard. I'm not and this is your shrimp hatchery. So yeah, it is clipped on really good. Wow. The camera can't see it, but I'm gonna try to lift it up so you can see that. Whoa. These slides out of the way. It's cool. You can see that right there, that's your shrimp hatchery. Come to a spare light bulb. And the problem, it keeps them falling out, so I'll put a little thing that'll hold it in. And that's for this. You turn it off with that little tiny mirror right there. Turn it off like that. It comes with a graduated cylinder. Let's see. So you do, like sometimes you put like your little liquid in here and you measure it up. Oh, that's actually in millimeters. Millimeters, and you could take the top off, like if it's something that like something that people can use, like for medicine. You can close this up like a liquid. You can close that up, measure it up. Okay. And then you get these. You get two of these specimen vials. You put anything you want in them. Of course, you can take this off as well. I'm just gonna get that off. See that you can put anything you want. So like, and it comes in, I love this, how it's like a doctor's kit. You get, um, it's called trees, but they call it faucets. Grab whatever's inside your specimen valve. Then you get this cool thing. I like, I think my favorite is this, the pipe it. Now what you do, it's not like a dropper you can pick up water. You get a water, a glass of water. And what you do, you kind of carefully kind of grab a drop of water, and it just gets a tiny drop of water. So when it, when it's raining, you can go outside and get a tiny drop of water, pour it on one of your slides, like one of these things, and then you can look at it with your microscope, and they, you can see after rain water, okay? And it clips in. Then you get this thing right here in the box. I don't know what this is for, but it says for you, so this is where you're going to use the wire. If the light bulb comes out, you use this thing to put it back in. And they clip in nice and neat, so, yeah. You can hear that, when it clips in nice and neat, that's good. And then it comes with a scalpel. Don't worry, kids, it's not metal, it's plastic. You can't cut yourself. You might have seen doctors use this a lot of times. And it always clips in nicely. And then you have a petri dish. And what you do, like I said with the pipe it, you put your water in here. And then you can transfer it to your slides. So that's really cool. Like maybe if there was a disease coming, that, like scientists will use that stuff. So, it, oh, I almost forgot the cool thing. You get sea salt. So if you don't have sea um, salt water, you can use this to make your own. Like just like it says in the instruction. And guys, I also have these. And these are seven fly labels and seven that particular side cover. So these are how you can make a permanent soil like this. You get one of the stickers and you keep it on there. And that's how you can like make a permanent slide. I rather not really waste the slides, but it's it cool. And then you get these. This I is Seven cover slips. I can get this open if I can. Oh, I can get it open, so yeah. What's inside? On these tiny glass, this plastics. 
and you put them on this. So that's really cool. So yeah, it's a really cool toy and it's easy to have. So I hope you enjoy watching this science video about this microscope. Leave a comment down below, give us a like and subscribe. Bye guys.